Hey, in my last video I showed you how to draw this fish here with curve handles and corner points and I'm going to show you how to turn this fish into this fish here using the convert point tool. This is from unit 3 in the Adobe Illustrator class. Here's the fish I drew last time. I'm going to take the black arrow and move him out of the way a little bit and then I'm going to hold the option key and drag a copy of that fish down here and uh, adjust that so that it looks looks like the one on the handout. Um, the one in the handout, if you notice, it has almost everywhere it has uh, corner points where there were curve points and curve points where there were corner points. Let's see what I mean. I'm going to switch a lot between the white arrow for selecting anchor points and making the direction handle show and this convert point tool. Um, I made those direction handles show and I'm going to break this direction handle and swing it forward like this to give him a little bit more of a sharky looking fin up here. That's the way the handout has it. And then right here, remember that's what the convert point tool does. It breaks those direction handles. Um, right here I've got direction handles that are already broken. I'm going to use a keyboard trick. I'm going to hold the command key to access the, the direct selection arrow. So these are already broken direction handles, but I want to fix them so that they're smooth, like these smooth direction handles over here. And the way I do that, I'm going to make the direction, oops. <laughs> the way I do that is I take the convert point tool and I drag new direction handles out of that anchor point. And now those are smooth direction handles. Get out of that convert point tool and uh, as you adjust these, make sure you are using the white arrow to adjust those. Um, right here the fish has a smooth point. The one on the handout has a smooth point. So I'm going to drag new direction handles out of there. You can see that every path has direction too. I have to, um, I have to pull them in the right direction to get this to, to look correct. I'm going to hold the command key again and adjust these handles to get that smooth arc to the back again. Same thing happens here, I convert these points. So to convert a corner point to a smooth point, all I do is take the convert point tool and drag new handles out of that anchor point. I switch to the direct selection arrow when I want to adjust those handles. If I didn't switch to the direct selection arrow, I'd break those handles again using the convert point tool. I don't want to do that. So a direct selection arrow makes the handles show then I switch to the convert point tool to break those handles, swing them forward. Um, remember one of the things you can do is to take the direct selection arrow and move the anchor point if, if the, uh, the shape just doesn't look right. Move that anchor point, adjust these handles to get that fin again looking sort of like a shark fin. Um, back here in the handout, this is a uh, corner point. It's pointy there. So I'm going to use the direct selection arrow to click on that and make the handle show and then the convert point tool I'll use to break that handle. And then uh, I'm going to switch to the direct selection arrow. And then the handout looks kind of like this where it's definitely a corner point back here, but it's still very full. So those direction handles have to kind of diverge like that to make it very full. I'm going to show you a trick with the direct selection arrow. If I click on an anchor point and show those direction handles, I can break them with the direct selection arrow. I can hold the option key. My cursor changes a little bit. And, and now when I move this handle, I move it and I break it at the same time with my direct selection arrow. Now I can let go of that option key and I can adjust this handle. So did you catch that subtle difference? Usually if, with the direct selection arrow, if I move a smooth handle, it stays um, smooth. It's a smooth point. If I hold the option key and I move that handle, it breaks the handle. I'm going to command Z that because that should be smooth. So I want this tail to be really full, but have pointy ends. I want these fins to be pointy. And then there's a um, there's another fin added here. So I use the um, add point tool to click three anchor points here. Click, click, click. Then I go back to the direct selection arrow. I pull up the middle one. Close, it's close to what I want, but I have to break this handle. I'll use my option trick to break that handle. The, um, this is also a smooth handle here. I'll use my option direct selection arrow trick to break that handle too. So I get a little, little double fin there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm gonna move that, anchor, move that anchor point. So the option key will act like the, uh, the uh, option key will make the direct selection arrow act like the convert point tool in that it will break handles. However, it won't fix those handles and make them smooth again. The only way to fix those handles is to use the convert point tool to pull out new handles. So that's uh, 
Those are the skills involved in making the smooth point fish into the corner point fish. Try it out. Watch the video as many times as you like. Thanks.